People ask me all the time what I mix Total ISO with. Honestly, I mix it with everything. Water, egg whites, Jay? Capone, Daisy. Jay, seriously? Film. Hey. <laughs> You look comfortable. <laughs> Old time bodybuilding. I know. It's been a minute again. Look where we are. We're at the sweatshop. What do you mean? Oh, oh yeah. The sweatshop. <laughs> I think you just put that up. What's going on? Nothing. I've been trying to get a hold of you, I've man. You're busy. Waiting, uh, I've been waiting a half hour for you. Oh, you're no, such I'm a liar. <laughs> well, man, we finally made it, right? I know. Long, long couple weeks for me. I know you've been so. This is busy. Been crazy for me, man. Like I know, you know, back to back. I'm gonna do something that I always say that you should never do with my pre workout. You know what that is? What? Dry scoop it. Oh really? Yeah. Why? Because the taste is so good. I get I disappointed. Know. I tell people I hate when you. They don't get to enjoy it. Hmm? They don't get to enjoy it as much. <laughs> sour, sour, sour one. <laughs> That's the face. Uh, hey, thanks for your Amplify 2.0, oh, by the way. The, I think the flavor is a lot stronger than the first one. I did only one scoop. Dude, super strong, the flavor. What really do you think, good. though? It's good, though, right? Very it's good. better, right? Flavor Great. is better. Yeah, everything. Product is better. It has yeah. the, the NO3 T nitrate in it, which is huge now. So I took the creatine out. Yeah. Um, still has all the citrulline in there. Still hydration to it. Yeah, I love it. Pumps are so much better. So It's great. Did I give you peach or... Do you have peach? No, yeah, I got lemonade. Oh, I didn't. I thought that was. I'm I th shocked that you didn't I, take peach. I didn't think you had it. I thought you only yeah, had lemonade. I had, I had peach and sour oh, lemon only. Oh shit! I'm sure the. I'm sure the peach is yeah, really good. The, the peach is real. It's it's much better than the old one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they did it much yeah, better it's on the flavor. Yeah, doing really well. We launched it like uh, a week a week ago yesterday. Okay. And it's now available on the site. How's it been selling? It's actually we have buy. Buy two, get one free. Buy two, get one free. I which, by the time this video launches, this will be Monday, it, that sale still should be running okay. on uh, Monday. So you guys still have a chance to grab it. It'll be last okay. uh, 12 hours or so. But you know, Just so you know what I remember, um, a lot of inquiry about the training camps. A lot of people oh, are interested yeah. Yeah. in the comments. So I think we're going to have to do something really formal where we have people leave uh, their email or so we can get in touch with them because it's, it's too tough on the comments. Well, I mean... You know, I don't know what, if we should limit it or we should just create this whole thing and just have a big group or whatever. But I'm trying to plan for July for this, guys. I so, know. So I'm really booked until June. So ideally, which we need to decide by May, so we can make sure the spots are, are yeah. accounted for. And ideally, like we said, everyone, this is going to be all 100% to charity. Yeah. So the check that you cut... Um, which we have to determine the price, right? We're not going to price it out because I know it costs money to get to Las Vegas yeah. and everything. But it will allow, um, so we could actually maybe do like training and then maybe like a like a, a group discussion, meaning like a seminar type yeah. thing. Um, I mean, I, I'd imagine the, the influx is going to be crazy. But remember, not everyone's going to be able to travel with a two-month notice to Las Vegas for a weekend, you know? I know. So... We may have to go local first and then... The plan a little well, bit more no, early. I think people will come in for it. We'll get. You yeah, know, I think so. I mean, I'd ideally like to have when Per comes, but I know. What I, weekend does he come? July. 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 Or? July sixth. Oh, he only God. he's only staying for like two days, because he's yeah. he's going back east also and everything too. But yeah, he's already seen every place in the world. So. <laughs> I know, he's so excited to come back after what two years, three yeah, years, yeah, so just like Doctor Zach, you know. Yeah. Hey man, what's up? How, how we doing? Yeah, so I would just want to tell you, I don't know if you saw the comment, but they're really... Uh, no, I mean, a lot of people, hey guys, yeah. how you doing? Really excited. Um, I think, uh, you know, I've got a lot of interest when I mentioned it. Of course, I haven't really, like, gone over and over with it as much. Yeah. But 
I think people really want to get that thing going. And listen, it's for a good cause. Make a wish foundation. It'll so be ta- to, tax deductible. I, yeah, but I think um, we also need to reach back out to them and make sure. You know, remember we had our person, we, which yep. I'm sure isn't the same person because we did this years ago, right? Yeah. So we'll make sure that we do it. So that's that's for you guys that don't know. We're talking about doing these training camps in Las Vegas. Yeah, so, for charity. Yeah. yeah, which will be really good. Okay. So you knew then. Great. But I wanted to mention uh, the Boston show was a success, guys. I want to thank everyone. Number one, thank everyone for the support the last two weeks because we had the Vegas uh, Cutler show and uh, Boston. It was Boston Marathon weekend, and it was Easter weekend, and it was spring break weekend. So our wow. turnout wasn't as substantial as we've had in the past. Okay. But I got to go train over at Jose's buddy Nate's gym. It's called Boston Hub. Oh, nice. Um, and it was great. Like, I got to train there. It's like a semi-private place, so really only for trainers. Uh, stayed at the Wind uh, Hotel, the uh, Encore. It was great. Um, but I got to visit my mom. She asked about you. Um, <laughs> you, you saw the picture I posted. On yeah, Instagram, it's right? a good picture. And, uh, you know, I, I just, I had a great time. You know, it was good to be back. And, you know, I got a crazy schedule. Um, you know, Man. next week I head out to Canada. So I go on the tour to Saskatchewan. Wow. So I'm doing Regina, Calgary, Edmonton. How many days? Kelowna. I think it's a five-day tr- five day total That's tour. Sweet. So yeah. I do Friday. I think I do two on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I fly home Tuesday wow. in the morning. So should be a good uh, should good be a good trip. You know, yeah. it's all in support for uh, Supplement World Canada. So you guys are in Saskatchewan uh, area. I know you Toronto people are asking me. I'm going to be out there at some point, but. Val, um, Val country. Yeah, yeah. So we're trying to actually plan something to see what. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure. We we'll see what happens. How long has happening. it been since you saw Val, dude? It's been a while. I mean, I we stay in touch pretty much all the time. You know, he's up at the the mighty uh, mighty mouse mighty auto mouse spa. Bar. Yeah, he's, so he's nuts. doing or muscle mouse. It's called muscle, muscle mouse. mouse. Yeah. yeah, muscle mouse auto spa, and, and uh, he's trying to get me to ship my cars up here. Which, listen, I have a new car I need to show you. So I oh. bought my first electric car. Is it time? Okay. And I'm going to show you uh, what it is after, you know, we, okay. we hit a little training here. So nice. I'm going to get a little overview of the training, guys. But I think um, the main title, if you guys are watching this, it's uh, I bought an uh, electric Tesla Plaid X. I was the first one to have the X in Nevada. Really? First one, yes. Because it's a brand new launch for 2022. I'm super excited about it. I waited a long time for this. I blame D- Dave Enders for this also. Oh, geez. Dave Enders talked me into buying this. So You know you're going to get a text now. Yeah. So, so thank you, Dave Enders. This is probably one of the best cars I've ever gotten. Wow. Um, and you know I've had a lot. That says a lot. Yeah. So super fast. I'm going to knock you in your seat. You're going to see how fast this is because I don't know if you, you've never been anything as fast as this because there's, there's no other SUV on the planet that's faster than this bad. Wow. Awesome. So we're going to hit a little shoulders today, do a few triceps. I'll show you guys a little bit of the training, but um, you know, I know you guys have seen this a million times and uh, let's uh, let's get in there and hit it right, right now. All right. Workout's starting to kick in. Starting to kick in. <laughs> okay.
would help, right? <laughs> yeah. Someone will, someone will take it. I'm so amped up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Best flavor, by the way, guys. Someone will Blue take straws. it. But I got something I wanted to show you, bro. Yes. What do we got? A new rocket. A new wagon. <laughs> All right, so this is this is what I've been waiting for, bro. Wow. So this is the Tesla Plaid. This is the Plaid batch. Yeah, it looks like from the Matrix. Okay, so. <laughs> Okay. I need you to get in this bad boy. Oh, okay. Are you in the front or? Yeah, I'll show you how to check this out. So check out the interior. Wow. It's so big inside. Yeah, it's six seater actually. So yeah. The two back seats down, are folded yeah. down right now. Yeah. Wow, I like the color. Pretty sharp, right? Dude, that's gonna be hard to stay clean. Why? No, this, this, it's actually it's cleans pretty pretty well. Really? Actually, yeah. All right, jump in. I gotta I gotta take a go. Okay. You gotta see how how fast. Yo. <laughs> that screen is huge. Oh, the door closed by itself. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a yeah, plane. So you seen the steering wheel on this? So the directionals are here, all the sounds and everything. What did you say before? It's like kit. It's like Knight Rider, the, the steering wheel. It's great, right? <laughs> yeah. So, where can we go to go fast? No, we don't worry. It's, you, you, we don't have to go anywhere to really go fast because it's like a, <laughs> it's like a rocket ship. I mean, you had electric cars, right? Yeah, but not like this. <laughs> It's, it's pretty cool to get used to steering. Yeah. It's just, you know what the hardest part is the directionals. And if you're like fidgeting and whatever, yeah. sometimes it's hard because you're, uh, you know, you're, um, you hit the button sometimes. Oh, the roof is transparent yeah, too. Yeah, like it's all, it's a huge windshield. This is new. It's, it's hard wow. for them to wrap it, you know? Wow. And it drives by itself, right? Ooh, shit. Oh, <laughs> Oh my that was god. 85. Jesus. <laughs> it's like an amusement park. Ride, oh my right? god, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what I tell you. It just like like melts you into your seat. <laughs> Alright, so we're at we're at 70 miles an hour right now, right? Yeah, the, <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's like going from like stop to, to like you just Isn't that crazy? Go on the gas, yeah. I mean there's a camera jerk when that happens. So we're doing 70. We're doing 76 miles an hour right now. <laughs> <laughs> what other car does that? That's crazy. And obviously, I'm not a top speed guy, so I'd never like. Yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah. we'll go 150 miles an hour. But Jesus. How many miles do you get in the full charge? Like 280. That's not bad. So I put the charger in my house. Okay, okay. And uh, so I tinted all the windows. Uh, yeah, see, that's why I was so tripping with you. Can see everything with like the camera, so oh, you can see everything. So that yeah, nice. When the directionals are on, you can see what's on the side, right? Wow. Um. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so it does everything, bro. Like this thing, will, it will drive up to you. Like it will, you can summons the car. Wow. And it's all self-driving. So basically, you put the navigation in. And literally, it would drive you. You just have to put your hands on the steering wheel so they know it's a driver, and then you let it go, and it, wow. and it basically navigates itself. So if you go out at night and you drink, you just put a thing in, and no, you can't well, get arrested? I, no, you can. I mean, you're still behind the wheel. You know what I mean? You're still then I would, never, ju I would just sit here. No, you, can, you, have to, you need a person that <laughs> oh, okay. won't drive without. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> That'd be cool. Mm. Yeah, so it's it's uh, you know I've always wanted uh, to try these electric cars, and you kind of was the first ones to get the yeah. semi like the hybrid. Yeah, right? you, you've talked about getting a Tesla for at least two three years. Yeah. So all this you can see like the green lights and all the cars. Yeah. So I'm gonna take a right right here. It tells you everything's around you, right? 
I really like those cameras. You can see the sides and stuff. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Whoa, we shit. It's kind of scary, right? You know, and that's what's missing usually with the electric car. You don't have that sort of uh, acceleration. Yeah, this is the super batteries, you know? you know? Yeah. So I know some people are like, man, that's not a mu as much charge. I mean, everyone's waiting for their car to be 500 miles to a charge, right? Yeah. But the cool thing is, is like having the, gra the garage charger now, it, yeah. it can drink from a dead battery forward. It can charge it all in five hours. That's not bad. Dude, I had it on the trickle charger when I first got it before they installed the charger. It takes a long time, right? And it was um, it was three miles an hour. Yeah. It charged. <laughs> yeah. That's and like, every time I went to Kilo, the, the thing was taken. I know. I don't know why they don't have more, dude. Don't do you think you should go, have more? Do you go? Or? I try, but there's always people on it. I think and I tried going to Summerlin. I mean, uh, downtown um, <sighs> yeah. at Town Square, and it was, it was all taken. They need to have more. I mean, come on. There's a lot of people with electric cars now. Yeah, so I think this this might be like the favorite car that I have, <laughs> and it's so futuristic. I think, and it's all yeah. it all, it's all carbon fiber here. You see all this and all suede here on yeah. the roof. Wow, but yeah, this windshield's crazy, right? It's it's awesome. That that is really cool. Yeah, it's it's like I don't know. It's like a you're in a UFO or something. <laughs> Pretty cool. Does Angie like it? She loves it. She has? Okay. Yeah, she still loves her G-Wagon. She does? the worst gas vehicle. I know. It's like a tank. The thing is like 6,000 pounds. But I have a pretty cool project I'm working on next for my next build for another vehicle. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we'll share that in a later uh, uh -oh. YouTube video. But <laughs> I got another vehicle that's uh, going to be the next build. So. Are you going to keep this one for a while? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> <A> little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> But you know what though, the fact that you have the first one sold in Vegas, you yeah. know, that model, it's actually like, you, you could probably sell it in a few months for more money. They're just really hard to get. There's a long wait list for them. Right yeah, now. see? I mean, I remember I ordered it, when did I tell you, last year, yes. last summer or something? Yeah. And it came in April, so. Yeah. I was surprised. They called me and said, hey, we got yours in, so the girl came and delivered it. That's awesome. <laughs> You're on. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, little shoulder workout today. Today is uh, today is Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. And uh, today was a little different. If you noticed, uh, the workout changed a little bit. Um, I actually did shoulders and hamstrings. Now that Merlin would be proud of this. That's a weird. That's a weird split. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I had I had a little time where I missed a couple days last week. So you know, I I've been kind of focusing on certain body parts just a little more because I, I feel like. You know, sometimes I like to change it up just to kind of shock the body a little bit. And, uh, you know, today's shoulders, I think we went in pretty easy. You know, I started with side lateral machine, um, you know, doing the, the um, selectorized uh, work there. Um, that was a good movement. That's always good. I like to do some pre-exhaust. I went over to the hammer strength press. You saw that, the rear. I think they call it the rear press. Uh, focused on that, doing, you know, a few sets there. Not, not super heavy, only one up to two plates each side um, with that. And then um, went over to uh, the front bar raise. Um, and I used the uh, Olympic bar for that. Um, that exercise I really like to do, sometimes I do it laying on a bench. Uh, I chose to do it, you know, standing. Uh, doing about 12 reps for all this stuff, um, pretty much. Uh, the next was the, the rear fly movement. Um, obviously focus on the rear delts. I've lost a lot of my rear delt size. I think a lot of it's because of the heavy rows that I used to do. Um, so I try to concentrate at least doing two rear delt exercises, and that's why the next uh, exercise I did like through my head with the rope. Now, I really like that movement, and sometimes I do actually the cables. I call those the Milos um, movements because he used to do those also. But the rope through the head, um, really kind of doing some contraction there, um, works really, really well for that. Um, and then you saw the hamstring work, so... Calves before. Oh, yeah. We did some calf training, um, which to kind of started um, to pre-exhaust the lower extremity. Uh, we did seated calf raises first, um, three sets there. Uh, pretty standard exercise, you know, plate on each side. Really good getting that, you know, that good um, pump in the calves. I mean, I, my calves, calves get really pumped up pretty quick. And then standing calf raises, which... It's probably my favorite, and you notice the like the one two movements on that. So pay attention to that where I go up and get that peak contraction. You know, three sets there. 
And then we rolled into the hamstrings, lying leg curls. Um, I used the prime machine here, um, really good with that. You know, three or four sets, including the working set, uh, the warm up sets there. I not really necessarily warm up sets, but feel sets. Uh, and then the seated, uh, we did the standing, standing leg curl, one leg curl, opposite sides, um, three sets there. And then the seated leg curl, which is one of my favorites, the hammer strength. They used to have that at the Decatur uh, That's a good one. Gold's gym. Yeah. Um, really, really good. And then I finished with stiff legged deadlifts, uh, that exercise with dumbbells. Now, I always stress the dumbbells. I, I always felt these better than doing it with a barbell. And in my early days of training, you saw, you know, my hamstrings really lacked. And I think a lot of it was just trying to get that contraction. But the stiff legged deadlifts with dumbbells, you know, three, four sets there went up to like 70, 75 pounds. Um, Love that exercise. Um, really, really good workout all in all. Um, today was a little later uh, workout, so we're training like now around six o'clock. So uh, I have about four meals in me today, which is really, really good. I was up early this morning, did some fasted cardio, um, and I'm good to go, man. It's, uh, training's been you know through the roof when I've been in the gym training. You know, I did train on the road when I was away. Um, rarely missing a lot of days, but it's nice to, I train two days on, one day off. Most days now, uh, the routine works really well. So you just got to find a systematic approach that works to your schedule. And like I said, I miss a day here and there, but I try to make it up uh, when I'm back home or when I'm able to hit the gym. And like I said, sometimes I'm not afraid to switch it up. Um, you guys on YouTube, I'm sure you guys go through the same thing. I've getting a lot of requests lately, like, hey, what can I do to kind of bring some excitement to my training? And I always mention like train a different gym, uh, play different music, train with different training partners, switch up your routine, change the time you train. Uh, you know, some people, you guys like to do fasted workouts in the morning instead of just your cardio, you know, go and hit the weights, you know, just make sure you have enough food the day before. Uh, very suggestive of that. We have a lot of cool videos, not only from myself, but others on this channel. So uh, make sure you guys check it out um, and we'll see you guys back for another video at Jay Cutler TV. Make sure you guys comment, um, share whatever you want for, for your knowledge. Give me your opinion on what you do. Do you pre-exhaust when you do your shoulder laterals to start? Or, you know, what do you think about a hamstring uh, shoulder workout day? Because I know <laughs> Dave had to make the comment about it. <laughs> like I said, normally my calves are done on chest day, but I did them today. So uh, for no JTV, rules. yeah, no rules. <laughs> uh, for JTV, we're, we're, uh, we're out for now. But make sure you guys uh, like and comment on the video. I'd appreciate it so much. And subscribe, so, please. Yeah, and subscribe. All Take right. care.